Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 9th of November 1979, a computer error caused a false alarm saying that the USSR had fired hundreds of nuclear ballistic missiles at the United States. The North American Aerospace Defense Command in Colorado, better known as NORAD, was established to provide an early warning system for Strategic Air Command in the case of a missile being launched against the United States. By the late 1970s, NORAD was linked to a complex computer network known as WiMEX and constantly monitored data from both satellites and ground stations for signs of an attack. In the early hours of the 9th of November 1979, the system reported that the Soviet Union had launched hundreds of nuclear ballistic missiles at America. Screens at military command centres across the country simultaneously showed the imminent threat, prompting military assistant William Odom to wake President Carter's national security adviser at three o'clock in the morning in order to warn him. As the Air Force scrambled interceptor fighter planes and Strategic Air Command readied their nuclear bombers, Brzezinski, the national security adviser, received a second phone call. The system was now showing more than 2,000 inbound missiles. However, feeling sceptical, NORAD staff double-checked the data and found that satellite and radar systems were not showing the missiles. It was a false alarm. Brzezinski was informed. As news of the error leaked to the press, an investigation was launched. It found that a lieutenant colonel at NORAD had loaded a tape containing software that simulated a Soviet attack into the incorrect system terminal, and this had been transferred to display screens across the defence network. When news of the incident reached the Soviet Union, party leader Leonard Brezhnev wrote to President Carter and condemned the tremendous danger that was caused by the error.